Hello, you are welcome. How to solve this nice algebra equation? Here we find the value of x. We are given 3 raised to the power x minus 4 raised to the power x equals to square root of 12 raised to the power x minus 16 raised to the power x. From here, we can remove this square root on this side. And for us to do that, we introduce square on both sides. We square this side. And also we square this side such that the square on this side will remove the square root here and this will become 3x 3 raised to the power x minus 4 raised to the power x all square now then equals to 12 raised to the power x minus 16 raised to the power x and from here we can also express 12 and 16 in form of 3 and 4 and this will be 3 raised to the power x minus 4 raised to the power x then all square can be written as 3 times 4 here then all raised to the power x then minus here as well we can write it as 4 times 4 all raised to the power x please subscribe to this channel for more exciting videos thank you now from here this power of x will affect these two numbers. Also from here, it will affect these two numbers. We have 3 raised to the power x minus 4 raised to the power x. Then all square will then be equal to here. We have 3 raised to the power x times 4 raised to the power x. Then minus 4 raised to the power x times 4 raised to the power x. Then here, on the right hand side, we have 4 raised to the power x common here. So when we factor 4 raised to the power x out, this equation will become 3 raised to the power x minus 4 raised to the power x all squared, which is equal to 4 raised to the power x out here. Then remain 3 raised to the power x here. Then minus remain 4 raised to the power x here. Then let's take what is on the right here to the left hand side. And uh, when it comes here, it becomes minus. So we have 3 raised to the power x minus 4 raised to the power x or raised to the power 2. Then minus, we have 4 raised to the power x into bracket 3 raised to the power x minus 4 raised to the power x. Then we will be equal to 0 here. Then from here, we can rewrite this. So far, it is square. It means we have two things multiply itself. So we have this number multiply itself. We can write 3 raised to the power x minus 4 raised to the power x. Then multiply by itself. That's times 3 raised to the power x minus 4 raised to the power x. Then we have this. That is minus 4 raised to the power x. Then to bracket 3 raised to the power x minus 4 raised to the power x. Which is equal to 0. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the like button. Thank you. And from here, we have 3x, 3 raised to power x minus 4 raised to power x common. We have it here, we have it here. Let's bring it out. We have 3 raised to power x now minus 4 raised to power x out. Then into bracket, what is left here? 3 raised to power x minus 4 raised to power x. Then we have it inside this bracket. Then what is left here? We have minus. 4 raised to the power x here, which is equal to 0. And from here, we have two things multiply equals to 0. Is it that we have 3 raised to the power x minus 4 raised to the power x equals to 0? Or we have this, which we have 3 raised to the power x. And this can be written now as minus 2 times 4 raised to the power x. Because we have it, you know, 2 times, then equals to 0. And on this side, we can take minus 4 raised to the power x. There we have 3 raised to the power x. We now be equals to 4 raised to the power x. So let's divide both sides by 4 raised to the power x here. Yeah? Divide this side by 4 raised to the power x. Also divide this side by 4 raised to the power x. Then we have, here it cancels each other. We are left with 1 here. Then this side we can simply write this as 3 over 4 all to the power of x because this power of x is common now which is equal to 1 
and uh, this side which is one we can equally write that and that will be 3 over 4 raised to the power 0 since we have 3 over 4 raised to the power x here we can equally make this as 3 over 4 then raised to the power 0 since any number is to the power 0 we give us 1 so the base are the same here then we can conclude from here that x will give us from here x will be equals to 0 so we have x equals to 0 from this side then on this side as well we can solve we take 2 times 4 raised to the power x to this side become plus so we have 3 raised to the power x equals to 2 times 4 raised to the power x now let's divide both sides by 4 raised to the power x divide this side by 4 raised to the power x also divide this side by 4 raised to the power x and here it comes to each other we are left with we can write this as 3 over 4, 4 raised to the power x, then equals to 2. Then we can take the log on both sides. And here we have log 3 over 4 to the power of x, now equals to log 2 here. And applying the power law of logarithm here, this power of x can be taken to the back here. And we have x log 3 over 4. Now be equals to log 2 then remove this log 3 over 4 here and divide both side by log 3 over 4 so we divide this side by log 3 over 4 and also we divide this side by log 3 over 4 and the log 3 over 4 we cancel out here then on this side we can now write x equals to log 2 divided by we can separate this log since you have division, it will be subtraction of two log, that will be log 3 minus log 4 from the law of log reading. And here we have another values of x in this our problem. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe for more exciting videos. And also give a thumbs up and put your comment in the comment section. Thank you for watching. See you next class and God bless you.